from the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Princess Margaret Hospital has had to reopen its 28-bed special pathogens unit to accommodate an increase of COVID-19 related admissions, which has gone hand in hand with the spike in virus numbers over the past few weeks. The unit was last used when the country was in the midst of its second coronavirus wave. According to Dr. Nakia Forbes, director of the National HIV AIDS and Infectious Disease Program at the Ministry of Health, there are renewed concerns about the spread of the potentially deadly respiratory virus. 41 COVID-19 cases are in hospital, 39 are considered moderately ill, while two people are in the intensive care unit. Corrections Commissioner Charles Murphy has denied that inmates at the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services are treated unfairly and inhumanely. His statement came in response to allegations of mistreatment of inmates which spread on social media. This also comes after a 2020 U.S. Human Rights Report noted overcrowding, poor nutrition, inadequate sanitation, poor ventilation, and inadequate medical care at the Foxhole site. Commissioner Murphy said, quote, I categorically deny the claim that inmates are treated unfairly and inhumanely while incarcerated at the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services. Earlier this month, the Tribune reported that the U.S. State Department Country Report on Human Rights highlighted poor prison conditions and the mistreatment of migrants in the Bahamas, revealing in one instance a prisoner being beaten and requiring surgery. Condolences to the Queen and the royal family have poured in from around the world, including from here in the Bahamas. Governor General Sir Cornelius Smith, being the Queen's representative, officially broke the news here of the Duke of Edinburgh's passing. He said, quote, It is with deep sadness that I inform Bahamians and residents in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas of the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, husband of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, 9th April 2021. The Governor General said his thoughts and prayers are with Her Majesty and the the royal family at this time. Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis in a statement mentioned the prince's previous visits to the Bahamas. More than 15,000 doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in New Providence, Grand Bahama and Eleuthera. This comes as the office of the Prime Minister announced yesterday people 50 years of age and older, restaurant and retail workers may begin making appointments to receive the COVID-19 vaccine effective immediately. Persons with disabilities and their caregivers on New Providence may also begin making appointments to receive the COVID-19 vaccine starting today. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, the police officer who fatally shot a black man during a traffic stop in a Minneapolis suburb apparently intended to fire a taser, not a handgun, the city's police chief said today. Brooklyn Center Police Chief Tim Gannon described the shooting as an accidental discharge. The State Bureau of Criminal Apprehension was investigating. Dante Wright, 20, died Sunday in a metropolitan area that was already on edge because of the trial of the first of four police officers charged in George Floyd's death. People across Britain flocked to shed shaggy locks and browse for clothes, books, and other non-essential items as shops, gyms, hairdressers, restaurant patios, and beer gardens reopened Monday after months of lockdown. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson urged people to behave responsibly as the country that has had Europe's deadliest coronavirus outbreak took a big step on its roadmap toward a resumption of normal life. Monday brought the easing of restrictions that have been in place in England since early January to suppress a surge of infections linked to a more transmissible new virus variant first identified in the southeast of the country. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. Today's weather will be partly cloudy to cloudy with a few scattered showers across the northwest Bahamas to variably cloudy and warm across the central and southeast Bahamas. Small craft operators in the northwest Bahamas should exercise caution. Winds south to southwest at 15 to 20 knots in the northwest Bahamas and southeast to south at 10 knots in the central and southeast Bahamas. Seas 4 to 6 feet over the ocean in the northwest Bahamas and and three feet or less in the central and southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 82 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 68. The sun will set this afternoon at 731 and will rise tomorrow morning at 650. That's news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper now on the streets or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.